Hello there, Audrey Ann here from Live Snap Love and in this short video I'm going to share with you a really quick and simple way to make the colours in your image more fall-like using Photoshop. So if you have trees or other foliage in the frame and you want to make that warmer, more autumnal, more fall-like, this is a really quick and easy way to do it. Now we're going to use selective colour, but before I get to that, the first thing I actually want to do is to make sure that it doesn't go on to my subject. I don't want to make her skin look really red and orange, I want to avoid that. So a really simple way to do this is just make sure that we select only the background and not our subject. Obviously, if you don't have a person in the frame, then you can skip this step. But a really quick way to do this is just go and collect, sorry, click on the object selection tool from the tool menu and then just click on your subject. And you'll see that Photoshop will get to work and you'll have this line of marching ants around your subject to show us that they have actually, or rather Photoshop has uh, selected her. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top panel, click on layer, then new adjustment layer, and then down to selective color. I'm just gonna click okay here. Now what I'm going to do before I actually start to make any adjustments is I'm going to invert this. So I'm gonna make sure that I have that thumbnail selected on the layer, and then click on command and I, to invert the mask. And you'll see now around her is white and she's black in the middle there. And that means whatever adjustments I make are gonna to happen to this background only and not to my subject. So this properties box here, we can actually change from the drop down menu, the colors that we want to change. Now for the most part here, you're going to see this background here is uh, green. And you would think that it would make more sense to click on the greens menu, but actually, grass and trees and all that is actually more yellow than green. So we're going to choose yellows. Now the first thing I am going to do is I am going to move the cyan slider to the left hand side. Now as I do this, I'm gonna go all the way to the end. You can see that the color there becomes more uh, orange. It kind of takes away the uh, yellow and basically adds in some cyan and it's giving me this warmer color. Now I can also go to the yellow one and I'm going to move this in the other direction. Can you see that there's not too much change there, but there's a little bit. I'm gonna take this down. I don't want it to be quite so far. And I can also use the magenta slider here. Now again, if I liked it like that, I could leave that, but you can also do the same with magenta. Again, if I move it that way, it's going to add more green. I want to take away the green in this case so I can move that toward magenta. Again, I'm gonna go a little bit too far here so you can see exactly what you can do. I'm gonna take that down a little. Uh, but you can see that we've already made a difference here. You can also play with the black slider. And again, I would just increase that a little bit there as well. So you can see that if I just close this, you can see that we've made a big difference there already. You can go into some of the other colors depending if I go into reds and I would also sort of move this, the cyan slider again. You can see that there's not much happening there based on what we have in the frame, but you can see there's making a little difference down here. So it is going to depend on what you have. And again, you can also move this yellow slider and you can see that as I move that, you're getting a different color there as well. So I'm gonna leave that around there. So that would be everything that I would do. As you can see that we've made a big difference in the colors there. There are some other things you can do. I'm just gonna show you that now. If I go to layer and then new fill layer this time and then solid color, I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna choose a really kind of warm color maybe something like that, click OK. And then I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal and I will choose, let's see, soft light. Now, obviously that's far too hard as it is, but we can really take the opacity down here, take that down to something like, I don't know, maybe 11% and you can see that just adds a little bit, you can go further with that. And of course you can click on here and mask that off your subject as well. But you can see that in under a minute, if I hadn't been talking the whole time, we would have made 
this scene look much more fall-like. So that's it from me. If you would like more Photoshop resources, then be sure to grab our ultimate Photoshop starter kit. You'll get some Photoshop actions, a quick start guide to using layers. You'll get a guide to adding depth and pop and even a black and white conversion cheat sheet. So just go to audrianphoto.com forward slash Photoshop dash starter dash kit and you can get that today. So that's it from me. Once again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again soon.